Hey awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another PAL World video. In this one we're going to be doing 5 best early game combat PALs. Right? There will be no particular order, it's just my opinion. But before we get started I just want to say, if you want to see something else on the channel you can let me know down in the comments, I read them. We have our own Discord, link is down in the description. description to join it, let's build a community there and I'm going to be streaming Primarily Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, around 4 p.m. Eastern. And last but not least, that if you do want to help support the channel, you can do so by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to the channel. Right? But with that said, let's get started. One of the first ones we'll do is 10Z. Right? When you have a partner skill activated when you get its uh, rifle, uh, this one, 10Z Assault Rifle, which you can get relatively on at level 12. What it will do is pretty much just fire a rifle at nearby enemies pretty fun to use during a raid unfortunately I'm in a high level area and my weapons are a little too good to go to the lower level so I'll be able to really show you right. but you can find them relatively early in the game in a lot of starting areas as you can see you can find them in different islands all of them ones that are highlighted you can get it Really, pretty early, right? That is one of them. Another how that you can do is, unfortunately, uh, don't really have it. That's also relatively on is Leaf Monk. Its uh, partner skill is Leaf Monk Recall. When activated, leaps to your player, leaps onto your shoulders or your head, and uses a SMG to follow your attack. So if you're using a bow and you're just spamming it, you will also spam it. And you can get its uh, pal gear even at a level earlier than Tanzi at level 11. You can find them in all of starting areas. You can see all those highlighted areas are where you can find them. Are pretty fun. Next, we're going to be talking about Fox Sparks. Its partner skills, when activated, you equip it into your hands and it will be a flamethrower. The pal gear for it is like one of the first pal gears you can get at level 6. It is really fun and you can find them in all the starting areas you can see highlighted. They're pretty fun to use. So for this one, we just do hug your fire and you just burn the enemies down. So the higher level and the more attack your pal does, the more damage it does. And you can see we have it last up quite a bit of time. It is really nice for defending a raid or if you're having trouble with grass type enemies. Right. Next one we have Jolthog. Is what Jolthog and Jolthog Crest, because they're just different variants of each other. Is whenever you equip Jolthog into your hand, you will throw it as well, as a kind of grenade that does electrical explosion. If you have a Jolthog Crest or Jolthog Crest, uh, it'll be a freeze grenade or ice grenade, and you can get their gear for Jolthog at level eight. And for your whole crest over here at level 11, right? And their pal gear is literally a glove. So let's summon it and then we'll activate it and it runs into our stuff and then we'll just throw it. Um, let's throw it at the statue of Anubis. As you can see, it just did pretty fun explosion. Same thing, but for the ice one, if you're using Jolto Crest. Now, the last pal that is really, really fun to use, you might be surprised, you might not be surprised, is Daydream. Right? The reason why is you can get the Daydream necklace super early on at level 8, same as Yolto. And what it does, if he is. If your daydream is in your team, it will stay by your side and attack enemies in tandem. So, if you get it... Oops, sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble. If you get it over here, it will stay by your side. So, let's grab one of them. Oops, not in that spot. Let's throw it over here in ours. Boom. I have not some of them and he's here. But what is a cool thing is if you get a bunch of them. Yeah, so you get one, two, three, or four. I like to use four. 
is that will do this. You have all four of them, so if you want to use five, you will have five. It will be very hard to capture stuff because they will more than likely eliminate it. But if you want to use them to, for example, defeat um, uh, King Penking early on, or if you want to defeat Chillet, King Paka, or even do a tower, you can because they will be out with you. And if you use them, you can throw out another summon. Whether you be it uh, Fox Sparks or any other summon. But what I like to do is utilize uh, sorry, poop crates. The reason why is well, its skill is while in team it will increase that attack power of dark pals. So let's use this one. It is brittle so it just minus defense. So normally attack with this power will be 310 but because the hook rates will gain 10% additional attack so it does 341. And you have four of them so the only good things or the things that can counter dark are a dragon so if you don't have a dragon that'll be nice but unfortunately the dark element only counters neutral but you can run around and completely eliminate stuff early game just shoot ones and it will just take care of it right hopefully that helps you get your uh, team early on when your early game starting Again, Daydream is, in my opinion, is the best. But remember, we, one of the best is Leaf Monk, Tenzi, Fox Sparks, uh, Jolt Hog, Jolt slash Jolt Hog Christ, and, well, Daydreams. But with that said, don't forget to ask them. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.